What's up guys, it's Kelly, and I don't know if you can tell, but I am extremely burnt right now. Like I am beyond burnt. I wore sunglasses outside yesterday. The sun was shining on my face, and now I have a crazy sunglasses tan, and my face has never been redder. So I was originally intending on spending today, well not all of today, but I wanted to do a first impressions video of the Carly Bible palette today, the deluxe one that just came out. I ordered it as soon as it was available for pre-order just because it looked really cool. I wanted to do a first impressions video. I still have not used it, but honestly I like saw myself, I like sat down this morning and I was like ready to film and I saw my face and I was like, I cannot do this. Don't know if you guys can tell through the makeup. I'm wearing a ton of makeup, but I'm also wearing like color correcting stuff underneath because it's so red that it's still showed up like under my my makeup so <laughs> it's honestly really serious and I still haven't used the palette which is so annoying because I'm just really excited to start using it but I want my first time to be on camera but I still wanted to use the palette today so I thought I would try something that a few of you guys have been asking me to do for a little while and that is how to do nail art with eyeshadow I wanted to give it a try see what I could do with eyeshadow never used it before but I figured it was similar to using like a pigment like you know those flakies I wanted to just try it over black see what would happen I can tell you guys I know it doesn't work with cream or matte I should say matte <laughs> it's so confusing when you're talking about makeup versus nail polish because nail polish is called cream when it's not like shimmery and it's called matte in makeup and then like matte is not shiny in nail polish so i always confuse myself just so you guys know the matte shades the ones that don't have shimmer in them those will not work over nail polish but anything that's got a shimmer to it those will totally work and that's the ones that i use but yeah so let me show you guys what i did with the black nail polish all right so i'm starting off with my base coat this one is by cuccio i got it from hv beauty bar i'll put a link to everything that i'm using in the description but once that is dry i'm gonna go in with my black polish this one also from cuccio <laughs> it's a really good one coater i've been kind of obsessed with it recently and i'm just going to paint one nice coat onto my nails and you guys know i can be a little bit messy with painting it on but i am not going to clean it up yet just because i want to do this really quickly and then while it's still tacky like I could make a fingerprint I'm gonna go in with my I was gonna say nail polish but it is makeup I'm gonna go in with my makeup on my finger and I am just going to start pressing that in to my nail into the wet nail polish and you can see that it definitely has this crazy effect like it almost turns blue even though it's kind of got a pinkish tone so I thought that was actually really crazy so then I'm actually gonna take a second color on just I cleaned off my finger and I'm just using the same one but you can use another finger and I'm just pressing that on to sort of give like this really cool grungy textured sort of effect I feel like this is definitely not what you would expect out of this palette but I really loved the outcome and then I'm just gonna finish everything off with my Cuccio 7 second top coat and that's just gonna smooth out the design so that you can't really see my fingerprints anymore and it also really creates this crazy sort of shimmer. So as you can see, it's kind of hard to get the edges of the nails just because you have to work really fast before the polish dries, but it was really cool that I could almost create this like brushed metal look using just one nail polish and then some of my makeup that I already had, so kinda crazy. So after I was done doing that with the black nail polish, I really wanted to try doing a gradient and see if that worked. But I noticed that the colors were sort of shifting into something else over the black and I wanted to see if there was a way for them to show up as they look in the palette and probably on your eyes, which I would know because I still haven't tried it. There are a lot of shimmers that have like an undertone and I feel like that's kind of what showed through with the black nail polish. So I wanted to try it with white as well just to see if I could get the colors as they actually were. And I really wanted to use this pink color because I feel like this is sort of the highlight, not well, it's, these are the highlights, but I mean like this is like the favorite for me of the palette. So this is what I really wanted to use. And I also did it over nude, but I thought it just didn't pack as much of like a, a punch. Like you couldn't see the color as well. You know, I think this is honestly like really cool. You guys can try it with other colors, but I thought that white and black worked the best for me. But yeah, so let me show you guys how I did a gradient over white. All right, once again, starting off with my base coat and painting that over my clean natural nail. And this just protects it from staining, keeps the manicure lasting, all that good stuff. Once that is dry, I'm gonna go in with my white nail polish. This is OPI Alpine Snow and it is a one coater. So I just need to do the one coat. Again, I'm gonna 
go really quickly. I'm not going to fix any of the mistakes that I make because I want my polish to still be a little bit wet when I go in. I'm starting off with this pink color that I said was my fave of the palette and it's got this really gorgeous golden sort of undertone to it but I was so happy to see that over white you could really see that pink coming through and once again it was really hard to get the edges of the nail. So basically just pressing that into my sort of wet nail polish. Now I'm going in with the second darkest highlight shade and I'm going to put that in on the bottom and I'm going to start with a lot of pigment on the bottom and then sort of get lighter as I work my way up. And again, you want to work really fast because you have to do this all before the polish dries. So once I'm satisfied with how it looks, I am going to go in with a Q-tip and I'm actually using acetone, but you could use makeup remover or you could actually just probably just wash your hands and get off the excess makeup around your skin. And then I'm going to go in with a little cleanup brush and some acetone. I do have a video on how I do this if you guys are interested in the process, but basically this is just what keeps the manicure looking nice and professional by cleaning up the edges. And then I'm gonna finish everything off with my seven second top coat and this will just seal in the design, keep the eyeshadow from coming off and it'll also get rid of any like fingerprints or anything that you see. You can really see it sort of brings the color out like a lot nicer, so I love that. And even though it's not perfect, I do love the way that this turned out because I feel like a lot of you guys ask me how to do a gradient without a sponge, even though the sponge gradient is super easy and super fun, this is an awesome way to do it and you don't even need that many, like you only need the one nail polish color and then just whatever eyeshadows you have, so that's kind of awesome. I also thought it would look especially awesome if I like posed over the Carly Bible palette because Right? It's cute. <laughs> so overall, I feel like this definitely worked. It wasn't very easy. I feel like there's a little bit of a learning curve, but I know that if I try it more often, it's gonna get a little bit easier. The hardest thing for me was getting the eyeshadow around the edges of my nails. Like I feel like the edges of my nails must have dried so quickly because it wasn't going on and sticking to my nail. But Overall, I feel like it's really cool. I thought this was a good palette to start doing it with and just like do trial and error, especially because it is so inexpensive. I didn't mind using it a lot, but I'd love to try this with other palettes. So if you guys want to see me try anything else, I was thinking the Urban Decay Full Spectrum palette would be so cool because there are just so many colors that I feel like that would just, I don't know, be awesome. <laughs> but let me know what you guys think. As soon as the sunburn is gone, I'm going to be doing a first impressions video on the Carly Bible palette. I did just do a first impressions video on the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette, which I'll put up in the cards. And I know that I'm like way late on that, but I said in the video it's expensive and I had a coupon and that's like literally the only reason that I bought it. Like you want to talk about it, this palette was 20 bucks. The Huda Beauty Palette was 65 bucks. Like, guys, <laughs> what was I thinking? But yeah, bought them both anyway. So give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more stuff like this. <laughs> videos. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. I got a link to the Galaxy Gang in the description below or you can just hit the subscribe button. I don't know. I just thought it would be fun to like have a thing that said like join the Galaxy Gang because that's what I call you guys now but mostly in my mind because I haven't really said it in that many videos and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think I should do next. I was thinking of like I said trying the Urban Decay Full Spectrum palette but if you want me to try anything else I do have a bunch of palettes because I have a problem where I buy a lot of stuff. Okay, that is it. So I'll talk to you guys later. I'll give you guys a fun fact though, as I said in my last video, giving you guys a random fact at the end of each video. Today's fact is I don't know how to tie a bow, like on my shoes. Like I'm not talking about a bow tie. I definitely don't know how to do that. But I mean, I cannot tie my shoes. Like. You know that episode of Spongebob where his shoes get untied and he can't tie them and he like doesn't know how and then they like sing that song with the loop-de-loop -loop and pull? Like, that's me, but I don't know the song. Like, I, I mean, I know the song from Spongebob, but I don't know how to do it. Like, I always do bunny ears and just do that, but I feel like it always comes out sideways. And I'm wondering if that's like a lefty thing because I met another lefty who also doesn't know how to tie their shoes and does it like with the bunny ears where you do like this and then you tie them together. <laughs> Am I crazy? But yeah, that is it. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.